Quack. Quack. Like a duck. Okay, noise. Quack. Three, yeah, what sound does a duck make? Quack. One, Quack. Go. Yeah. Or, or, or wah wah. This matchup, though, right, still, you know, offers Jeez. a lot of the same questions. How does Sonic find his way around? around? The How other does Duck is, Hunt Dog get back I on was stage? Say, the other, but, but in order to find your way around Duck Hunt's zone of control, Swiss, you gotta set it up first. And sometimes Sonic just will choose not to let you do so. And exactly, the question is, what does Duck Hunt do then? Vaughn is going to attempt to answer that question and solve what many think is impossible. So I think what Fawn is going to really capitalize on in this matchup, and it's something that Stevenator has been failing to do this entire bracket, is doing those spin dash cancels. Agreed. Yeah. Like, if he can't do that, if he's just going to go in with those spin attacks every single time, easy pickings. Yep. As you mentioned, Stevenator is not just with the spin dashes too, but it's also when he throws on something like Forder, right? He just held full in. No drifting back, even there. He's not going to reset the ledge. He is full committing to his choices every single time. Right, he's full sending the aggression. He's full sending the commitments. And every single time. And things like that extra back air are giving Fawn these extra openings. She is capitalizing. But even still, Swiss, it's going to be Stevenator with the first stop. Oh, he can bounce with the with the with mm -hmm. the ball. There we go. At least that. All right, we're starting to see some maybe some more cancels here into that down air, and we're starting to see some more air control here as well and on down the whole stop. Did you see that positioning? Finding the tipper back air sends out the can, hits it back towards you to cover you while you're throwing out the clay pigeon. Fauna is just incredibly creative with this character. And Steven is just uh, trying to avoid all of the creativity. He's not creative. He just wants to kill. And Fawn finally finding that first stock. And Fawn there, there's that up, that up air, or, or up tilt that's gonna send it back towards you, right? So now we see it again, now Fawn sending it away, right? Just covering space and covering her own dash dances with the can as well. Making it so that Sonic, no matter how fast he is, that's a frame one option that's gonna explode if you touch it. So she's using it preemptively on the setup to just make it so Sonic just can't just homing attack or can't just find those quick and easy ways that he's used to. And Stevenator at the ledge, going to the other side of the stage. Yeah, bring it around the world, my friend. And and because you want to get away from that can, you don't want to have to deal with it at ledge. Fawn's going to miss the clay pinch and loop something we don't see all day. But using the down pad in conjunction, once again, that gunman, the hitbox extension we've been talking about all night, Swiss. And again, it's the MVP for Fawn when it matters. It covers just everything, mm -hmm. especially when Sonic is just going to go in and just run. Yeah, you put, you put out things that make Sonic enter hit lag and, and allow you to punish him. It gives you d distinct windows and places that you can punish him. Yeah. But it gives you distinct pillars that you can play around here on the stage. And Vaughn is setting up those walls, setting up those pillars that Sonic uh, can get punished by. And that's where you're seeing her find these openings. Once again there, he hits the, gu he hits the gunman, he hits the cannon. And they shoot into each other and explode, and he dies. Yeah. She has no work needed. Steven Ader is just throwing out forward smash after forward smash. It's a powerful move. I get it, but come on, man. Hey, man, sometimes you want to send the dog to Minecraft, okay? Yeah, yeah, fair. Make that dog a wolf. Woof, woof. Wait, that's not how wolves sound like. Damn, I got Swiss Rider barking <laughs> on the broadcast. Hold on. All right, well, I'm barking over here for these wonderful sets. And we see Fawn <laughs> finally... <laughs> <laughs> I just like Smash Brothers, okay? <laughs> Same here, my friend. Same here. Here has one more stock and a dog that we are all cheering for. Or, folks, the fawn duck hunt coming in. The pressure is mounting. Can she continue this run? Keep it going. And she has the lead here against Stevenator, racking up the damage. But as we've seen time and time again, all it takes is that one good hit. Duck hunt can struggle to kill, but not gonna when you land the tipper back here. Fawn taking game one in solid fashion, bringing back what started off pretty well to then have a very dominant lead at the end of that game. Whoa. What do you think we're going to see in game number two, Swiss? Game number two. And I what do you think about game number one? Well, game number one, I, I want to take it away from you. No, 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 no. I, I was thinking about that. I'm like, I don't think that was very decisive. I think it, it was a, I would think it was a much it closer was, it was game. A two, I, I agree, but... Also, at some at some point, we have to refer to the stock count. Yeah. And a two stock victory is is a pretty decisive one. No, no, no. They they were at lost stock. Were they? Yeah, yeah. They just didn't take any damage. 
Okay, it was a JV2. It was a JV2, but that's, we take those. That's still pretty, that's still pretty decisive. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Speaking oh my god. Decisive. Okay, you know what? Speaking that's a decisive, decisive stock. Holy Zero moly. to death. Steven, why did you go back? <laughs> Steven, choose another stage. Yeah, uh, Fog figured something out mentally between game one and two, because we didn't see anything like this to start things off. I, I, think, already... I think they figured out what all gamers have already figured out a long time ago. You don't respect Sonic. You just go in. You're right. He hasn't made a good game since 2005. Why that's would we right. respect him? The, the good one that's coming out for Apple Arcade. Why is it coming out for Apple Arcade? <laughs> because since when has Sega made sense? Sega and good decisions. Enemies for life. Well, uh, Jesus! Yeah, why, do you, why do you think Nintendo and Sega are friends now? <laughs> Listen, Nintendo makes good games at least. <laughs> well, but, but the business decisions is a whole other question. <laughs> what, what, what do they have other than Yakuza? Is Yakuza for Smash, please. Nintendo? It'll never happen. <laughs> Aww. No, I think it's like. Uh, I mean, well, it just wouldn't be Kiru. It would, it would, like, put Majima on Smash. Yes. Hell yeah. Kiru yeah. chan! <laughs> he, he pops up. He's a, he's a, you got a 1% chance to get Majima when you find <gasps> a Smash. Oh my gosh, that was a footstool! Yeah. No! And Duck Hunt can't recover from that. So it's gonna be finally Stevenado getting on the board, having the opportunity to pressure the advantage before Fawn gets set up again, but just can't capitalize. He got a little antsy nope. on his positioning, and that split second delay is all Fawn needed to get back in the driver's seat here, Swiss. We're seeing a lot more. We're seeing a lot more creative use of these spin dashes here. Steven maybe figuring something out here on the last stock, but they're probably a little too late. He's heading to the ledge. Wow, the up tilt on the opponent. That move does not scoop at all, Swiss. A very rare piece of contact from a Duck Hunt, but gonna find it. However, it's gonna be Stevenator finding the edge guard to close out the stock in turn and giving himself a real chance back into this one. He has to play it perfect. This is the same scenario we saw in game number one. And he closed it, and we finally Swiss saw that spin dash cancel. Yes, all right. So, Stevenator finally getting it. How are they going to get back? Bond uh, still? No. no, they don't. No, they're not. <laughs> that is the answer. All right, and Sonic goes down. But you know what? We're going to Losers Finals, the salty run back. Bond versus just, Bill. You know, Swiss? Yeah. He was just a little too slow. He was just a little too slow. I think maybe just a little too fast. Going in just uh, stock after stock, and it was only until the last stock where they're like, okay, let so, me slow it down. Let me yeah, try and like find an opening Watch here. what happens in a lot of these situations. The extra hit here. Like, we go yeah. back. You see that? Uh, you watch, 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 what happens. <laughs> watch what happens. A spot dodge, right. and then the second hit comes out. You saw the start the wing at the beginning of it that got caught by that clay pigeon. Mm -hmm. The first stock here also got caught by a second up air getting pressed. S. And this one here, the back air comes out, the air dodge. Uh, and just trapping. And it was Stevenator every single stock getting put in a bad situation, but then panicking and pressing that one extra button that Fawn waited for, let come out, and then jumped on the unlag up. Yeah, if we, I can actually see that second stomp mm -hmm. one more time. Uh, uh, the death Fawn from the second kill? Yeah, the Fawn yep. second kill. So we actually... So mm -hmm. not that one. That was the first. No, no this is oh, the second yeah. kill. So second kill, right? So he paused there. He jumped. Mm -hmm. That was exactly what happened there. That extra, that extra button, was yep. that jump? No, and like, for the folks who didn't see it the first time, right? Yep. Yeah. Boom. Y you get, and and watch watch the first stock, watch the other stocks too here, because you've got the spot dodge, right? The second one gonna close it out, uh, and find the contact there, which goes into that. At, but if we can jump over to the first stock as well, you'll see it, which we didn't get to talk about. Beautiful wave land. But then gets put in the situation, gets hit by the ping, but not the can, gets out of it, and you watch the magnifying glass, swings in an up air, and oh. is still in the end lag when gets caught. But right? every stock, three for three, was just Stevenator pushing that one extra button and disadvantage, swinging yeah. at ghosts, if you will. And Fawn has seen it all before. The, her patience when she plays Duck Hunt is limitless and it has to be right mm -hmm. duck hunt is a character we've talked about can kind of struggle to kill sometimes and because of that when you get the opportunity to kill you have to capitalize you have to be patient and wait for them because if you just push and push and push you don't have the ability to just force through a kill like say snake or lucina does right you you just have to wait for your openings and so she's she does 
and she's very good at it. And that patience is what I think is going to serve her well in the rest of Bracket tonight. Mm -hmm. However, 